Recently dropping 90% in sales almost instantly, oversaturated with pure garbage, and getting rich quick attempts, are NFTs really good for anything? Welcome to Cryptopia where we discuss the utopian rise of cryptocurrency as the battle against regulation, bans, scams, and non-believers continue. On the front lines today, NFTs versus usage. I'm going to be taking a look at this article from entrepreneur.com that kind of goes over three non-digital art NFT use cases set to take off. NFTs are the hottest ticket in crypto breaking into the mainstream thanks to headlines like multi-million dollar art sales from creators like Beeple. Celebrities have jumped on the trend with Janet Jackson, Eminem, and Mick Jagger among the most recent to issue their own NFT collections. There is currently, I believe there's one, well, I, I know there's one, I made a video on it with uh, Paris Hilton. Actually, I didn't make a video on Paris Hilton once, but Paris Hilton and Floyd Money Mayweather, who just won his 52nd fight against Logan Paul, though. But still, 52 and 0. Any trends in crypto comes with the inevitable warning that it is all just one big bubble. I agree with this. NFTs are, well, most stuff in crypto, but there's a lot of things that are bubbles. I would like the dot-com bubble, but look where we have come since then. Just because it's initially a bubble doesn't mean it's completely useless. Let the bubble pop and let the cream of the crop rise after. Anyways, however, the fact that old art market auction house Christie swiftly moved into the NFT space is a powerful sign of NFT destructive potential to shake up traditional modes of art consumption and engagement. And while it's fair to say the segment of investors who can afford to drop uh, millions on digital artwork or music is relatively small in the grand scheme of things, there are brands coming out which are trying to shake things up to give more uh, decentralized and more democratized opportunities for other people at an easier price point. That's basically what the rest of this says. Quickly moving on to the juicy parts, right? So one of the other use cases that is not just art is fashion. Though, so I think the rest of these are all technically a segment of art in some way, but when I say art, you know what I mean. Fashion has taken a blow over the last year or so due to COVID and yeah, pretty much that's it. <laughs> There's no other reason for art, for fashion to have taken the blow aside from us being stuck in doors. But the shift to digital uh, hasn't escaped the notice of big fashion brands, the savviest of which have taken their label into the virtual world. For instance, last year, Gucci launched the Gucci Sneaker Garage. I don't have that link. I had that link up for a second. Um, a segment of their app where gamers could customize their own digital designer sneakers. I'm not much of a sneakerhead, but if I was, this might be something that's kind of cool. However, the NFT element introduces the same scarcity and exclusivity, which prompts fashion lovers to reach for their wallet in real life. Moreover, the increasing prevalence of digital fashion offers the potential for brands to connect with entirely new online audiences of gamers and esports fans. This is something I think is going to be huge. For sure, gaming already, the selling of skins or we'll take um, CSGO as like the knives that they're selling and stuff like that, like that stuff is already going for pretty big to my understanding. And I'm sure there's a bunch of other things in like World of Warcraft that you can sell for real world money. And that would fetch a pretty penny if it's difficult to get rare, um, an event specific kind of thing. So definitely I think the gaming space is going to be huge. Let's skip down over here to see kind of what they say. Skins in the game. The convenience of digital fashion and esports brings us the next big use case for NFTs. Gaming blockchain based... Ga what? Sorry. Gaming. Oh, NFT gaming. Blockchain based gaming has been slow to take off. And obviously that's mainly because legacy profiles, uh, platforms, sorry, like Ethereum aren't designed for, well, gaming on that magnitude. Okay. They're 
for that kind of microtransaction and volume of traffic that gaming generates. That's a better way of saying it. Therefore, many blockchain games are actually hybrid efforts with game logic and data hosted on centralized servers. Basically, it's going to be a bit of time before they get there, but eventually they will. Eventually, blockchains will be opened up more. I believe they mentioned one here. Uh, do they? Yeah, okay, so there's like Planetarium has been working to build a platform where gamers can operate based on their own blockchains because all game elements are uh, entirely decentralized. All in-game assets on the project's flagship application, Nine Chronicles, are NFTs by default. So again, and I've said this before in previous videos, this is definitely turning into Ready Player One. Like we are, like, we are in Ready Player One's beginner stages and by the ending of, you know, the next 10, 20 years, this is what we're going to be seeing. And then all you have after that, you'll, you'll see the base ground ready to build. And then you just need VR to get to that level. VR chat is the idea, but you kind of need to go further than that. I don't know how they're going to do that, but chips in our brain or whatever, but somehow. So let's go down to the last one. From DVDs to NFTs. A third use case for NFTs, which has so far been virtually unexplored, is video. There have been a couple of headline grabbing instances, such as the recent NFT sale of the SNL sketch uh, featuring Pete Davidson and guest Jack Harlow titled, What the Hell is an NFT? Never heard of it, not, not a real fan of, of SNL, so I don't really watch it. And I didn't even know about this until this article, but apparently the a video of the sketch was later auctioned on the NFT marketplace OpenSea, where it fetched 171.99 ETH over 300,000 US dollars. Insane. You watched it for free. The biggest challenge in issuing video based NFTs is file storage. As it says in the previous one, which is the same problem the gaming situation has. Blockchains simply aren't designed to store large files and the size of a movie or TV show. However, there are significant opportunities in video NFTs. The Age of streaming has all but killed the idea of limited box release sets, meaning fans have to look to physical merchandise to get their fix. However, video NFTs could reopen that market. Potentially, yes, they could. Um, I'm not sure how big of a deal this is. I don't know how many people want to get into this, but potentially, if you are that kind of person that does collect this stuff, then yes, this would be very opportunity driven for you. Um, I guess I'm not that kind of person, so I not I don't really have an interest in it, but I definitely see how it would be. Now, the vision looks set to become a reality. Video Coin has recently teamed up with Filecoin, which uh, currently harnesses 1.5 billion gigabytes of file storage via its decentralized network. Ultimately, the partnership offers the possibility for anyone to mint, store, and trade their own video NFTs. The Video Coin project opens up. Um, intriguing possibilities for filmmakers and fans, etc. Uh, Video Coin has gone a step further in solving another challenge with NFTs, that of permanent ownership. Currently, if uh, if the company issuing an NFT folds, then there's a risk that the investment becomes worthless. The token itself may continue to exist, but the media it represents may disappear. Video Coin is pioneering a new proof of ownership feature that uses digital right management technology along with uh, ephemeral proofs ephemeral proofs on the blockchain to ensure that the longevity of an NFT issued on this platform is guaranteed. I'm not too unsure what this is really saying. I mean, isn't that the whole point of the NFT on the blockchain is to verify that you do own it and it is real? Um, I'll have to look into that, I guess, to find out more about what that's trying to say. But basically, NFTs have more use cases than just your traditional art art, right? Now, fashion, movies, games are a kind of art, yes, but very different. Gaming being a very um, time-consuming thing. So you spend a lot of time in the game you know, and you kind of develop an attachment to it. And if it's a game you really love, and you've already spent money on you wouldn't be you'd be down to spend some more money and get some gaming assets and get some unique skins and etc etc and that's going to become a big thing for sure especially if you can customize your own so you can gather parts of nfts in a way and kind of create a brand new NFT, kind of like how the script kitty thing works i think 
So that's really cool. Fashion, I'm someone that does like to personalize what I wear, especially when I'm going out um, to a like, specific place. I like to kind of dress to a theme that works that place. I know it sounds weird, but being able to, but fashion NFTs for your characters, or, you know, even if you have like weird feature shirts where they actually like show stuff on them, which would be weird, but could happen. That'd be really cool. Especially if you're going to a rave or something like that, that would be really dope. And then the last one here with the um, DVDs and NFTs, that one I'm not so sure about. Um, but again, just because the box set idea, I didn't really uh, get. I mean, I, I don't own any of that kind of stuff, but I do own, I guess. I mean, I guess technically I own some books and like I, I could have just downloaded those books on, a, on my laptop or something like that, but whatever. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of all of that. The use cases here are just a few areas where NFTs are still have plenty of room for expansion. Digital real estate will probably be a thing. Um, maybe some like contracts, deeds, stuff like that. Um, so what do you think? Despite all that's happen, happening with the NFT space and crypto in general, which is just kind of looking like it's just going down, 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 like this, this bull run might be over kind of down, down, down. I don't know if it is. But what do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Let me know.